thank you for joining us. Uh, so we're going to talk about DDoS and try to take you through that full journey from knowing what it is all the way up to what to do about it, okay? And so we call this who, what, why, where of DDoS attacks, right? And more importantly is what do you need to do about it? So first let's start off with what is a DDoS attack, okay? And so DDoS attacks is a the most, I guess, troublesome um, attack strategy which threatens the first step in running any kind of modern business, which is availability, right? And so we think about security with the CIA uh, triangle, and a lot of times availability gets sort of the short straw. But the reality is this is where you make money, is in availability, right? Um, but the thing to understand in the world of DDoS attacks is that it's not you against an attacker anymore. It's you against the whole ecosystem that you're battling, right? And you have a, a motivated attacker that is hiring a DDoS for higher service, that has accumulated weapons, pick the delivery mechanism, and then attack the victim, which ultimately will be you, right? And interestingly, um, who reads Verizon DBIR? Anybody read that report, right? M many of you are not admitting to it because many, most of us in security read it because at the very least it's entertaining, right? Um, but interestingly, when you look at their statistics on it, two thirds, all the incidences from the Verizon research team, or you know, the incidents that they had to follow, were DDoS related. It's pretty astonishing from that perspective, right? All right. So now, so who's impacted? We kind of look at the industries that have the biggest imp um, problems. You know, obviously gaming, online gaming, one really big one because they're all a bunch of cheaters, right? They DDoS attack each other, and whenever you have gaming, you have gambling. When you have gambling, you have crime, right? Always these kinds of things. But the reality is, is that nobody is immune to this. Today, one third of all downtime is attributed to DDoS, right? Which is sort of an astonishing thing. So how important really is this? And then what are the impacts associated with as far as what is an hour of down downtime, right? And this is probably one of the most troubling things. DDoS has been around as, a, as an attack strategy for a lot of years, and yet 70% of organizations take three to five hours to detect that they're under DDoS attack, much less start remediating against it, right? A real problem from that. So why they do it? And this is always a problem whenever we're attacked is why? Why? Why do they do it? Well, there's a lot of reasons that people do it. And at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter why they do it because they're doing it. So if we take a look at the world we live in today, right? John Casey Gamble. Anybody know who this guy is? Somebody you work with, he's the cute mate next to you or something like that, right? Well, John Casey Gamble back in 2017 got indicted by the FBI for DDoSing his former employers and his partners. He's a pissed off guy. He's just pissed, right? And then it was in uh, August of this year, he got sentenced to 15 years prison, right? Now that's interesting in itself that, that any, your buddies could be in this position. But what I think is fascinating is this. In 2017, he spent $652.87, exactly $652.87. And what he got in return was three months of unlimited 30 gig of DDoS attacks, okay? $652. How many people have toys that are cost more than $652, right? I had a lot of them, right? My kids got a lot of them. So that's the point is, is that this is the world that we live in. So boys and their toys, right? So after he started attacking his targets, then he said, well, let me go after the police department, the, the Minnesota police department too, right? So, so this, this is the reality of the, what we face and we gotta figure out how do we defend against it, right? The next thing to consider is, is all right, so there's motivation, there's all these things that happen, where do the attacks come from, right? This is one of the interesting things about DDoS is, is that you can know ahead where is the attack going to come from? It comes from infected um, computers and IoT devices, right? That are repeatedly used in DDoS attacks. It comes from the open servers that are on the internet that have crappy security policies that will answer to any kind of a request. And, and in many instances, will amplify these attacks, right? But the point is, is that it's not fair, you know? 18 million against one, what the heck, right? And so there are so many DDoS weapons that are out on the internet that, that the attackers are able to exploit. Right? All right. And those are made of, of malware infected botnets. And then these open servers, right, 
that are being used every day in reflected amplification attacks. All right. So, what's the problem? You know, DDoS has been around for a really long time, right? Well, this is the problem, right? Is IoT is the damn pro is the problem? Excuse me, damn is is the problem, right? Is it's not the same that it was before, right? And, and so now we're going against these billions and billions of IoT devices, and that's the problem. And so we, from a defensive perspective, we need to even the odds in some fashion or other. And lucky for you guys, A10's here to help you as far as being able to defend against these things because we take a modern approach to DDoS defenses, okay? And we provide the scale and the capabilities in order to be able to balance these out. Today, we are the industry's precision leader that eliminates false positives and false negatives. We do that using advanced techniques of tracking more indicators in order to make sure we don't miss. Um, and then we provide innovative approaches where we use multiple distributed elements inside the network in order to detect DDoS attacks and then orchestrate the mitigation strategies from a central point in order to lower system costs. From an automation perspective, we are the industry's leader in automation with the industry's only five-level escalation. This is a, a policy-based escalation strategies of anomalous behavior blocking. Then we have a machine learning capabilities in order to be able to extract patterns because in DDoS, it's distributed. Distributed means there's going to be some energy levels of how things are coming together from an attack strategy. And we dynamically create signatures and block this. And the, the other portion of it, we took that, that, that map with all of the attacks. We, we do threat research and identify the weapons that are being used on DDoS attacks and then make it actionable by having blacklists that range all the way to 96 million entries so that we can block these things before they impact your um, environment. <clears throat> and then from a scaling perspective, and this becomes really important today because IoT is really, really big, right? So these distributed attacks can be in the six and 700, maybe a million uh, attack wide. And so we provide the flow capabilities for analyzing up to six million flows per second. We uh, granular policy detection. And then at the end of the day, it has to be affordable, right? And so because we build things with performance in mind to begin with, you can use a lot fewer boxes or appliances in order to be able to meet your defense capacities that you need. And ultimately, if you're a service provider and you're providing DDoS scrubbing services, we can help you to see how to use the scaling factors in order to increase your profits significantly compared to any other kind of a legacy solution. All right. So over on the other side, we have some SCs over there that can show you a demo of our system and highlight what these capabilities are. So hopefully if you have some time after this event, uh, come on over and uh, visit with us. Okay, thank you.